What's going on, Geminites? It's your boy, Gem Mint. Gonna do a not-so-recent reads on the Usagi Yojimbo uh, Deluxe Slipcase Hardcover Set from Fantagraphics. So stay tuned. Alright guys, if you're anything like me, you grew up in the late 80s, early 90s. You know this guy from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles toy line. Everybody had Usagi Yojimbo. And even they had like a space Usagi toy. We all had the toy. We all just figured he was from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And he even showed up in the cartoon series. So, you know, why wouldn't we think otherwise? It wasn't until I got into collecting Omnibus that I started hearing about Usagi Yojimbo and how um, the, the books are so good, this and that. And um, I ended up picking up the, um, the slipcase hardcover set like you see here published by Fantagraphic Books, and then the Dark Horse um, Usagi Ojimbo Saga, which has like seven or eight volumes, which I haven't read yet. But um, I have read this book, and I really loved it. I guess you could say it's like the first manga that I read. It's kind of like a Western manga. Um, Stan Sakai uh, writes and illustrates this. That makes me feel like reading Rainbow. Written and illustrated by. Take a look. It's in a book, a reading rainbow. A reading rainbow. Um, I don't know how many formats this comes in. I know there's like a soft cover slipcase set. Uh, this had a hundred dollar cover price, but I think it's like a whale status kind of set. It probably goes for like three hundred bucks or so. But you get this hardcover slipcase, and you get these two hardcover books that I really enjoyed, man. This is a black and white story, uh, anamorphic universe, right? So everyone throughout this universe are animals, and our main character, Usagi Ojimbo, is a ronin. He's a samurai without a master, and he pretty much walks the earth doing good deeds in exchange for a room at an inn and a big bowl of ramen soup and some sake. So it's kind of like disguised as a kid's book, but they have... Um, I don't want to say really graphic, but they have graphic fight scenes. Like, he's killing people. Chopping off heads or stabbing people with his sword. Uh, here's a look at some of the artwork. So, you know, it it almost it feels like it's a, ki a kid's book, but it's not. It's a little bit more mature than that. And they kind of read, like, little short stories that have an overarching story with... Um, I can't even remember. I read this, like... Um, a year before I started the channel, so like 2016, but like there's some general guy, um, there's reoccurring characters and allies and villains that he faces throughout this, but he's a, a very noble character, he always does the right thing, he always wins, he's very skilled at martial arts, and he, um, you know, he's our, he's our hero, man, he's, um, He's just a noble warrior. Let's take a look at some of the artwork, and as we flip through it, I'll probably recall some stories. But um, I read this. I couldn't put it down. I read it fairly quick, uh, fairly quickly, and I really want to get into the Dark Horse ones. I hear that those are the ones that are actually, like, the ones that everyone talks about, but I kind of just felt like I needed to read this first to get a background on the character. <clears throat> I don't know if that's true or not. Um, I guess you could pick up the soft covers. I think are really inexpensive. It's like the same kind of set, but soft cover. But let's let's flip through this and let's take a look at Usagi Ojimbo by Stan Sakai. All right, so the front of one of the sides of the slipcase. It's cool to see the characters painted and in color because throughout the whole book, like I mentioned, it's black and white. Here's the spine, first decade of Stan Sakai's masterpiece, first seven volumes of the collected Usagi Ojimbo, thousand pages, it's got his origins, it has an extensive full color cover gallery, it does have a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles crossover that he uh, wrote and drew, introduction by Stan Lee and Stan Sakai, I'm probably saying his name wrong, I'm sure I'll get corrected, here goes the other side of the slipcase,
And here are the two books, volumes one and two. So I think what Stan really does well with his drawing is some, you know, even when he draws stuff like this, he really knows how to um, how to create mood with his um, with his drawings. Even like this, he's just sitting there. He's got his hat face down. He got his Raiden hat, Rice hat, and I think he you see him progress with the mood, like even like this the more further you get into the books. But yeah, he's a rabbit. You got a panda character. You got like a feline woman character, even though she's riding a horse. That's weird. You get the rhino character. Some of it can be kind of funny and goofy, but it gets real. I think the rhino guy tries to bully him, but... You can't mess with Usagi Ojimbo, man. They have these reoccurring kind of like creatures. Like they remind me of like the Izzes from like the Max. But they're like they're like dinosaurs. It's on top of the building with a bow and arrow. Here's a fight scene. Look at this, boom, getting shot with an arrow. That's dope right there. Ninja style. He's up eating and drinking. There's more of those dinosaur creatures. fight scene yeah he gets pissed man catching the sword with his hands Click. Mm -hmm. He's walking. See, look at that mood. Gets a feeling. Pulls out that samurai sword on him. Here's the cover gallery. I forget what the name of the book is where he first appeared. I, I remember like key collectors would get it. I feel like it's something with an A. Is he going to show us here? Yeah, Albedo number two. That's his first appearance. The turtles. All right, so that's my little recent, uh, not so recent reads on the Usagi Ojimbo set. I really need to jump into that uh, Dark Horse saga. I just have a couple things that I want to do first. I think I consider myself a pretty versatile reader. I, I like superhero comics. I like independent stuff. I was able to enjoy this type of anamorphic manga style book. Um, I don't know if it's for everybody, but um, 
I think Stan's thing is that he basically created his own little universe, and then he had to cross over with the Turtles, the uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and um, he's still at cons to this day, man, signing books. I can't remember. I think he's, is he Japanese but lives in Hawaii? I feel like that's uh, where he's from. Anyway, let me know what you think about Usagi Ojimbo in the comments below. Do you only know him from the Ninja Turtles toys or have uh, have you read these as well? And what can I expect out of the Dark Horse books, man? It, I mean, is it that much better? Because I really enjoy these a lot. Make sure to subscribe to the channel for more daily content, which includes not-so-recent reads, recent reads, haul videos, statue unboxings, and more. And you guys stay minty fresh. Peace.